just a quick look at the Drift HD 170 Stealth Camera. It's got a quick release mount on the bottom that you can rotate and you can remove to find a standard mount threading if you want to use another kind of mount. You open up the back to install the battery and an SD card. You have to plug in here to charge the battery and you can also plug in an external mic. You turn it on by pressing the play button and then start recording by pressing the play button again. One really cool feature is you can shift the orientation of the lens simply by twisting the lens. Between that and the adjustable quick release plate on the bottom, you can get this set in all kinds of orientation. The menu has a lot of options. First you select the recording mode, whether video or photography or time lapse photography. Then you can go in and select the various options by pressing up and down and play to select an option. There are a few different mounting options that come with the kit and then several others that are available as accessories through the website. For the car mount, what I decided to do was just stick the camera on a 12 foot long paint pole that I didn't extend and uh, when I put it overhead I put it on top of the pole, stuck it out my window. Um, and it worked pretty well. They also have a suction mount for more standard mounting options for the car. Here I used the handlebar mount to mount it behind my feet. And then it's on the handlebars. There, behind my feet again and now it's on my helmet. You can mount it in all kinds of ways. Um, on the helmet I used a Velcro mount that the quick release slides right into. Of course because it has the standard quarter inch screw mount on the bottom, when you remove the quick release you can mount it to anything you could mount a camera to. Here's where I put it back on the 12 foot long paint pole and use that as a crane. One other option is the time-lapse photography. It's a very versatile camera for a lot of different kinds of uses.